Hello everybody, my name is Zadnazer and welcome to the Stanley Parable. This is not the first one, but the second Stanley Parable, and I actually don't know what that means. I heard there was a Stanley Parable before this one, this is sort of like a remake or something. Anyway, this is going to be a playthrough. I have only played the first ending, I have not done all of them, so you guys will be as surprised as I am. This game came out, I think, about around 2014, 2012 time? Sorry, that's a random date, and I honestly don't know. Anyway, let's get started. This game's all about choice. So, here we are. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, can I talk now? Yeah, okay. So, um, what we are going to do is try and get every single one of the Stanley Parable endings. I have my iPod with me on the side getting ready to aid me just in case I have gotten one ending and I believe it's like the true ending or something like that anyway so we are going to do the first ending which is the easiest I believe it's called the reluctant ending yep that's it that, that's it Stanley guys. simply couldn't <laughs> handle the pressure what if he had to make a decision what if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility he had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. I can't get out. Stanley waited. <laughs> Hours passed. Oh, yeah, um, no. This one's and called the uh, coward ending. He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, okay. they will arrive. Soon, mm -hmm. very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now Here it's it just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. <laughs> Here it comes. And that's it? Oh, I thought the game crashed. All right. The end is never. Okay, so this next ending we're going to do is the normal ending if you follow everything that the guy says. I'm going to try and bring out some hidden Easter eggs if you guys didn't know them already. There's an achievement if you, like, click a door five times. I don't exactly know what it is, but anyway. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you can't jump in this game. Let's see, this is 428, uh, 429. Oh, well, yeah, they are gone. Stan <gasps> decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Exactly. No matter how hard Stan Do I have a wrote, map or something? He couldn't find a trace of his co-worker. Let's say. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing going on outside. If this is what a workplace looks like, I'm terrified. He's like, ooh, what a nice day outside. Okay. Let's close this door. Close the door. Can I... Can I close it? No, I, I can't. Okay. Okay, moving on. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this one closes. 
this one. Stanley went around touching every little <laughs> thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <gasps> Door 420. Owen's got a potted plant beside it. Oh my gosh! Alright, okay. <laughs> Sorry that made people dizzy. Awaiting input. I think this had something to do with another ending. I forgot what it was. Let's find desk 420. Okay, that's 418, 419, 421. Where's 420? 423, 422. Did they seriously take out desk 420? Wow. Really? Or am I just being stupid? This is 421, which means 420 should be like right here. Okay, they did something about that. Okay, okay. Door 417. Does that door close by itself? No. Nope. Okay, we have to close this, guys. No burglars, remember that. Door 416. Door 415. Door. F Never mind. Okay. And then. When Stanley nope. came to a set of two okay. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, so we are going to follow this guy and go, like, alright, sure. Door 413. Door 412. I'm waiting for one of these just to go up randomly. Door 411. Ooh. Beautiful day outside, guys. I have to admit, that weather guy was definitely right when he admitted. He said it was snowing tomorrow. I was like, no, this is sunny. Blinding, Yet if you ask me. not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley Chris decided to go up to his boss's office. Not efficient. He might find an answer there. Ongoing. Fire the paper guy. Um, let's see. What else does it say? Buy Corley. Work harder, hard worker. Let's see. We need less reviews. 402 plus 405. Want to get rid of the death sport portion in the primary review schedule. But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers. More water cooler heaters. <laughs> Wait, water cooler. Water. Okay, I, I don't get it. Sorry. Um, a lot of percent teenagers size of demographics space between hey that's not nice we don't have that much space between our brains i think i just insulted myself never mind okay uh what do people want things money money things okay the boss appreciation minute um circle the top 20 things about your boss uh solving interpersonal conflict is this like the I don't know what you call it. Um, uh, midlife crisis or something like that. What are your dreams? Future. Metamorphosis. Clear skin. Less air? Gee. And I can't zoom in either on this, so that's too bad. Tips for not being fired. Do talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. Sounds legit. Okay, how to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out and pa passive aggressively on other workers. Resent coworkers for not for not supporting you more. Using slides to assure employees that everything's okay. Make sure the slide has a slick blue graphic in the header. Mhm. Mm this will ensure calm. Everyone is unique. You must evolve. That that's very true. Okay. To do synergize. All right. Let's keep going. Whoa, that door closed by itself. That's not creepy at all. <gasps> a broom closet. No way. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. But this is a broom closet. Er, is it? There's only one broom. There's nothing here. No choice there was a broom. No path to follow. There's a Just broom. broom. There's closet. stuff here. No it's not empty. Here. There's a broom right here, dude. Narrator? If I didn't mention earlier, this is a narrating game completely. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. I am. I'm running around. With, he'd be justified in some way. Narrate narrator was just standing there doing sweet <laughs> FA. Narrator, I'm o I'm over here. Okay. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Yep. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Because you provide such humorous dialogue when I do menial tasks. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? <laughs> if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, 
At least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Eh, it nah. occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Really? I never would have thought to mention it. Okay, then if it, there's no significance, why are you talking about it? I mean, you should just go on ignoring me. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Yep. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the Ow. broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope Whoa, your friends gosh. find this concern. Is there a broom closet ending? I want the broom closet ending. Ow, guys! Did you get the broom closet? So and okay. And really, really stupid. Oh gosh, this took a turn for the worst. Because of a family connection, that's how stupid he is. That Ouch. With drug money. Okay, also kids, look away. Look away. No, look away. Look away. Okay, it's fine now. That mean well, narrator. A very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> A bit. We're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at what? this computer is dead. Hey guys, I think that name is dead. Any number of your countless human physiological Nick is dead. abilities. It's indicative of the long Yeah, you want to come see? He's playing some speech. game again at his Please computer. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their uh. place at the computer, making sure they understand basic Hey bro, you want to take that his place? Mechanics and filling them in on the history Supposedly they need another person that game. can so Understand first person, and thematics, and stuff like that. This game is not lost on okay, me. good. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hall. Uh, all right, um, guys, I'm sorry, but Zadnazer just died or something. Anyway, I'm taking his place. Name's Zayden. Zayden Jr. Probably heard me from Zadnazer. I'm his young bro. Okay, let's keep going. Ah. Second player. Yep. Good to have you on board. Mm -hmm. Guarantee you can't do any worse than the person okay. who came before. Okay. Now, I don't know much about video games, but I'm basically a his custodian, or whatever you want to call. It. <gasps> a broom closet. This is just like my real life equivalent. Unbelievable. You you kidding me? Zanies did that. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna cut the act. You can hand the controls to. I thought it was funny fish, at first. Fungus? I tried. Look. You can hammer out the details, I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay, so that's the broom closet ending. Easter egg, little Easter egg here and there. Alright, let's keep going. Um, next up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, uh, okay, let's go upstairs. Alright. Seriously, they could have at least made something to look outside with. I guess this sort of makes up for the mysterious amb um, ambiance of the room or something like that. Yeah, ambiance. Stepping into his manager's office, Whoa. Stanley was once can again I, can I play the piano? to discover not an indication of any human life. Shot, Aw, look at that. Self-promotion. Okay. Oh, um, by the way, that's the... secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible I'm trying truth to talk here, that his narrator. boss had been keeping from him. Dude, I'm trying to the talk. The boss had assigned it an extra secret pin Extra number. secret pin code. 2845. Two, okay, got it. That of picture course, right... Stanley couldn't oh my gosh. Known this. Seriously, the narrator's got to have a name. I don't know what his name is. But anyway, the picture frame on the top is the, the game application uh, image. The image file or something like that. Okay, two, eight, four, five. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I'm kind of running Trying around, to dude. anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, eight, four, five. No kidding. Wait, should I put it in? Two, eight, four, seven. Two, eight, four, five. Sorry. Two, eight, four, one. Oh. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, 
knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood oh. that this would ever result in Oops, a combination. Sorry, I didn't mean to blow the mic. You the forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked Override? In. And the door just Whoa. opened all by itself. Where's the and door? Stanley got the hell along with the story. Ooh. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> He's so sarcastic all the time. And then sometimes he actually... Oh, whoa. Shares emotion. Shows emotion. Right. Two, eight, four, five. Thank you. Okay, let's get going now. Sora has a portal vibe to it. Like, because there's nobody here, what other game is like that? Is Half-Life that? No, Half-Life... I don't know. I have never played Half-Life. So, I don't know. But isn't Half-Life, like, in the same universe as Portal 2 or something like that? Because they talk about the Black Mesa. Anyway. Um, yeah, so this game... The narrator seems to have a lot of different emotions in general. And this is only one of them. Like, pure sarcasm, into the if you don't get Stanley through it realized properly. He felt a bit peculiar. It peculiar. was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This mm. question would not go unanswered for long. I don't know. Sake of story plot, probably. Wow, Stanley this definitely feels like through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this, this hall, okay. Stanley would meet his violent death. Violent death? No! Okay. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Do they look exactly the same, or is that just me? Oh my gosh, they look exactly the same. I'm not even sure if I'm walking in the right direction anymore. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm going back. Okay, it's alright. Now, this is another ending that I probably shouldn't do just yet. Course, Stanley thought better of it, and realized he simply had too much to live for. Ooh, another camera. Cool. Seriously, I wouldn't walk out here. I'd throw something because you can't see anything down here. You're not even sure if you're walking on what you're supposed to be walking. Let's see. Light button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Television screens. What horrible screens. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Did the narrator just stutter? Anyway, okay. Oh, more path. This is amazing. Isn't there another uh, another movie that does this? I'm not sure they monitor everywhere, but uh, I guess X Men sort of do this, now but not really, to life. because like he can see review. everywhere. Anyway. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co Wow. The lives of so many individual vigils reduced to images on a screen screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Where freedom meant nothing. nothing. Okay, seriously, is he stuttering or ah lag? You've got to be kidding me! No, I can't deal with lag right now. Okay, let's look for our room because I know there's like a room four two seven somewhere. Four two seven. Four two. Oh, there, right there. You guys see it? Okay, right there. Let's see if that's our room. Yep, that's our room. All right. Okay, there's also another employee. I think he's over here somewhere. He's fired. There, up there. This um, right down from 103. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Okay, either he's stuttering or it's plot. Control all this time? Was was the only reason he was happy with his boring job that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay. No. no. Oh to gosh. Okay. He couldn't, 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 couldn't. This game. Okay, guys, I will be back. To believe it, he couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. Okay, I'm it back. Nothing happened. Wasn't it? I hope. Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly, utterly blind, blind to, to the, the world? world? No! But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. 
Happy. What did he say? Uh, I can't read them. Or content. Walking, Home. eating, huh. working. All of it monitored and commanded from this world. And as the cold reality Why would you of waste money on lights? In, Stanley decided anyway. that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, so guys, in this game, I'm just gonna give you a forebode warning or a spoiler. I don't know. Cover your ears if you don't want to hear it. Basically, you're never going to figure out what all this is about, why all this was built. All you are gonna know is that, like, the game is about discovering who Stanley is, and Stanley quite literally is you. Then again, no, you're not gonna figure out who Stanley is. You're more. The, the whole journey is trying to figure out who the narrator is, his multiple emotions through the all the endings power. you can he knew do. It was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yep. Alright. Is it gonna load or is it just gonna... Oh! Okay, here we go. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Whoa. Yes. He had won. Okay, cool. Can he I He had walk? defeated the machine. Yes. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay, so now that we are back here, um, I believe that is all the time we have for today. Let me look up that ending on this Wikipedia real quick. And yes, this ending is called the Freedom Ending, wherein you do everything that the narrator tells you to do. So that is it for today, guys. I will be trying to make a series out of this, and I hope I do apologize about earlier the lag and stuff. I haven't been able to record a lot recently because... Thank you everybody so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more of my content and I'll see you next time.